after studying this module you shall be able to number 1 describe the need of strategic marketing plan number 2 explain the meaning of strategic marketing planning and lastly number 3 discuss how to develop a strategic marketing plan a strategic marketing plan is a blueprint that elaborates a systematic interconnected logical step by step process for achieving marketing goals it analyzes internal and external environment markets competitors mentions the essential resource allocations schedules budgets and tasks and embeds the control and other activities needed in relation with attaining marketing goals in an efficient and effective manner it lays down what should be done in present to attain marketing goals ahead it is the marketer's road map for intended destination it is a significant for a strategic marketing planning process to focus at the company from the customer's point of view by asking questions that have a long time horizon such as developing the strategic marketing plan the strategic marketing plan process typically has six stages number 1 the environmental analysis that is swot strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats of the environment number 2 identifying customer number 3 competitor or value creating process four marketing mix the four p's that is product price place and promotion number 5 financial analysis and budget six and lastly implementation and control plan let us understand environmental analysis it is an analysis of both internal and external environment that is the initial step to strategic marketing planning internal environment refers to the environment that lies within the scope of an organization it includes machinery manpower policies culture and structure in an organization external environment refers to the environment outside the organization this includes political social economic and technological environment for example these days both male and females are employed as a result a female is no longer considered to only look after the house and males to look after earning a livelihood for the family both husband and wife reach home after 8 10 hours of work there is no time left for cooking thus new concepts like itcs ready to eat food home delivery services hotel chains have got increased acceptability as both husband wife work throughout the week they like to enjoy weekends and hence places like the jurassic park walls of wonder have costly tickets on weekends internal environment analysis leads to strengths and weaknesses of an organization while external environment leads to opportunities and threats like digs pose as opportunities for ready to eat products identifying customer it is significant to first comprehend 
the difference between customer and consumer. A customer is a firm or a person who buys a product while a consumer is a firm or person that eventually uses the product or consumes it. For example, a person buying a McDonald's burger for his child, the person is a customer and the child a consumer. Developing a strategic marketing plan is not possible without knowing who your customers are. Therefore, in this stage, we identify our customers like Mercedes sells its cars to the elite class as it is a luxury brand. iPhones also sell the product to the rich. If Mercedes without identifying its customer base starts promotion of its cars to the lower income group, it will be a sure shot failure. Hence, this stage concentrates on market segmentation. Market segmentation is a process in which market can be classified into various categories, classes that have same needs and desires. Segmentation can be done on following basis. Geographic basis, the demographic basis, the social class basis, and the psychographic basis. A company should always analyze how it stands in comparison to its competitors. Therefore, targeting and positioning are two important components of competitor analysis. Let us understand targeting first. After segmenting the market based on different groups and classes, there is a need to choose the targets. Single strategy will not be applicable to all consumer groups. So being able to develop specific strategies for your target market, it is very significant. Number one, undifferentiated targeting. This approach views the market as one group with no individual segments, therefore employing a single marketing strategy. This strategy may be fruitful for a business or product with little competition where you may not require to customize strategies for different preferences. Number two, concentrated targeting. This approach lays prominence on selecting a particular market niche on which marketing efforts are directed. The firm emphasizes on a single segment so you can concentrate on comprehending the needs and wants of that particular market intimately. Small firms often derive benefits from this strategy as it emphasizes on one segment and enables them to compete efficaciously against larger firms. Three, multi-segment targeting. This approach is employed if there is a need to focus on two or more well-defined market segments and want to frame different strategies for them. It offers various advantages but can be expensive as it engulfs greater input from management, increased market research and increased promotional efforts. Before selecting a specific targeting strategy, there is a need to perform a cost-benefit analysis between all available strategies and determine which suits your goals best. Positioning Positioning is developing a product and brand image in the minds of consumers. It also engulfs enhancing a customer's perception about the experience they will have if they choose to purchase the product or service. The business can positively influence the perceptions of its chosen customer base through strategic promotional activities and by carefully defining your business's marketing mix. 
effective positioning involves a good comprehension of rival products and the benefits that are sought by the target market. It also requires to identify a differential advantage with which it will deliver the required benefits to the market effectively against the competition. Business should aim to define themselves in the eyes of customers with regards to the competition. Product mix, that is product portfolio or product assortment. The product mix is the total variety of products a firm sells. Some firms will sell just one product, while others will sell a large number of different products. For example, Samsung's product mix engulfs mobile phones, netbooks, tablets, televisions, refrigerators, microwaves, printers, and memory cards. Firms should opt their product mix wisely as they will require to generate a profit from each of the products in the product mix. Let us understand the meaning of product line. Product line refers to number of products grouped together based on similar characteristics such as product price, product quality, who the product is aimed at that is the target group and product specification or product features. For example, Samsung's mobile phones are classified into product lines based on the attributes such as touch screens, slider, folders, QWERTY keyboards and bar phones. Product lines help firms manage their products effectively as product strategy can be crafted around product lines. Let us understand the meaning of product line length. The product line length shows the number of different products in a product line. A long product line comprises of large number differentiated products in it, whereas in a short product line, it has small number of products. The product manager's job is to work out how many products to include in product line. With the inclusion of many products in product line, there is a possibility that will begin to compete with each other, that will increase costs unnecessarily and might create confusion amongst buyers. Shorter product lines will limit customer choice and send customers to competitors with a greater selection of products. Let us learn about price. Pricing is the process of determining what a company will receive in exchange for its product or service. Pricing factors include manufacturing cost, marketplace, competition, market condition, brand and quality of product. Let us understand the meaning of place. This means distribution network. The distribution network can be indirect where we use intermediaries like wholesalers and retailers are used or direct where the product is directly distributed to the customer. Let us know what intensive distribution means. Intensive distribution is a marketing strategy under which a company sells through as many outlets as possible so that the consumers encounter the product virtually everywhere they go. Supermarkets, drug stores, gas stations and the like. Soft drinks are generally made available through intensive distribution. Exclusive distribution. Exclusive distribution engulfs 
limiting distribution through a selective outlet. The products that are sold through this kind of distribution are usually highly priced and require the intermediary to place much detail in its sell. Selling cars through exclusive dealers in a, is an example of exclusive distribution. Let us now understand what selective distribution means. It lies between intensive distribution and exclusive distribution and in which only a few retail outlets cover a specific geographical area. It is considered more suitable for high-end items such as designer or prestige goods. Let us now know the meaning of promotion. It is significant to promote the products so that customers are made aware about it and influenced to purchase the same. Financial Analysis and Budget Keeping in mind all the above factors, a financial analysis can be done to formulate a budget. Implementation and Control Plan This is the final stage where we implement whatever we have planned. It is important to keep an eye on how it is going in order to control any issue which might later create a big problem. Advantages of developing a strategic marketing plan The top-down process of developing a strategic marketing plan helps ensure that all technical marketing programs support the company's goals and objectives as well as convey a consistent message to consumers. This approach enhances the company's efficiency in all areas which help in generating revenue and capturing market share and minimizing expenses, all of which lead to higher profitability. Let us now summarize what we have learnt in this module. Strategic marketing plan is an integrated process of achieving marketing goals with the help of a plan which focuses on six steps. These steps are environmental analysis, identifying customers, competitor analysis, value creation, the four P's of financial analysis and budget, and lastly, implementation and control plan.